In the quietude of the Jurassic Epoch, when the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over ancient landscapes, a behemoth stirred in the waters. It was a creature of unparalleled proportions, a silent sentinel of a bygone era, the Spinosaurus. Greater in size than Tyrannosaurus and Givinovosaurus, Spinosaurus was the largest of the carnivorous dinosaurs. It roamed the North African marshes between 112 million and 97 million years ago during a portion of the Cretaceous Epoch. Based on the areas in which they were found, two species of Spinosaurus have been named, Spinosaurus maricanus Moroccan spine lizard and Spinosaurus aegyptiacus Egyptian spine lizard. The term spine lizard, which aptly describes the dinosaur known as Spinosaurus, refers to the long spines that grew down its back to create a sail. The animal's back vertebrae gave rise to the characteristic spines, which were up to seven feet in length and were probably joined by skin. According to a research published in the journal Science in September 2014, recent fossil evidence indicates that Spinosaurus was the first dinosaur to be able to swim, and it is probable that it spent the majority of its existence in the water. League author Nazar Ibrahim of the University of Chicago Vertebrate Paleontology explained that Spinosaurus had short hind limbs, dense and compact bones, wide and flat claws and feet, and a long and slender snout with conical teeth. The origins and function of the sail on the Spinosaurus have been the subject of intense scholarly discussion. This dinosaur's size protected it from many predators, but when the sail was completely stretched, the dinosaur would have seemed twice as large. Thus, it may have been employed as a deterrent. The dinosaur's back was probably able to arch to a point because of its relatively flexible upper spine and ball and socket joints in its vertebrae. When it felt threatened or wanted to draw a mate, it could have been able to spread the sail. Paleontologist Jack Bauman Bailey suggested in a 1997 research that was published in the Journal of Paleontology that Spinosaurus and its relative Oranosaurus had big bison-like backs instead of sails. It is now known that the dinosaur's habitat was really a lush wetland, but Bailey contended that these humps would have served as dissipative heat shields that, in contrast to sails, would have helped the animals survive in the hot and dry climate that they were believed to have lived in. According to theories put up by other paleontologists, Spinosaurus utilized its sail to store fat or absorb heat in order to control its body temperature. Ibrahim and colleagues discovered that the spines were probably wrapped securely in skin, and were made of solid bones with minimal blood veins, which contradicts the theory of thermoregulation. Ibrahim said to Live Science, it is likely that the sail was used as a display structure. The animal would have been able to see it even while swimming and from a distance. In this manner, the animal could communicate with other species, especially fellow Spinosaurus, about its size, age, and gender. Furthermore, Ibrahim and other paleontologists have conjectured that the sails were very colorful, like the fins of many extant reptiles, which would have made them much more impressive display devices. Ibrahim does point out that the sail likely had more than one function. The Spinosaurus has a tiny crest over its eyes and a long, thin snout at the end of its head. It had 12 teeth behind those needle-like fangs, and six or seven on each side of the very front of the upper jaw. At the end of the snout were a few massive, slanted teeth that interlocked. Its jaw was strong, but it seemed improbable that it could have torn through difficult prey with those teeth since none of them were serrated. This supports the hypothesis that it largely lived off of fish and corpses. It is believed that Spinosaurus mostly survived by feeding on fish that were found in the dinosaur's river system, such as enormous lungfish, sawfish, gigantic colacants, and sharks. A tooth from a Spinosaurus or dinosaur of the Spinosaurida taxonomic family was discovered by researchers in 2004 lodged in the bones of a Cretaceous pterosaur, or flying reptile. The discovery, which was published in the journal Nature, implies that the fish-eating dinosaurs were also hunters or scavengers of non-aquatic species. Spinosaurus inhabited Morocco and Egypt. Though it's difficult to find them due to the hostile environment, there is conjecture that the Sahara is rich in fossilized Spinosaurus remains. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of our planet's past.